what up YouTube it's your boy Penny LS1 checking in real quick as y'all know I've got uh had a little setback still waiting on parts my doors have been delayed for another two months April 10th is the new expected delivery date so in the meantime my tires actually just came in so I'm on my way up to the tire shop now to get those mounted in balance I am um, some of y'all may know I do have the N90 uh, year one wheels for the Monte Carlo. I haven't really showed them other than the little short video I put on Instagram and YouTube. So I will do a, a reveal, I guess, if you will, once I get the tires mounted and balanced. And then I'm also going to ceramic coat the wheels. So just so y'all know, I ordered the tires from TireRack.com only because I was looking for a certain tire. I, I didn't find the exact tire I was looking for. But at least you're able to look at the tires and the tread patterns and you know pick out a tire that you like for for your driving uh, style so like i said i'll go over the tire and review once i get it get everything home once they mount and balance so i'm going up here now drop the wheels off he said he can get them mounted today it's lunchtime, so i may just uh walk next door get something to eat and if he can have it done in an hour i'll just wait instead of having to come back up here so i'm excited now so i can go ahead and put the new wheels on and I can clean out my garage, get rid of the old wheels, and then I can go ahead and uh, get that fender out of there. Because I, like I told y'all, the fender is sold. I sold the fender to the same guy that's going to buy the, the factory wheels. So I'll let him know um, that everything's ready to go. And I can get that. Like so I need room in my garage. I got a bunch of junk in there, as y'all can see. Balance. So if you don't know, when you order from TireRack.com, you have the option of having the tires delivered to your home. You can have them delivered to... A local tire shop of your choice that's well that's that's on their list they have a list of uh preferred installers or they also have mobile installers i didn't pick the mobile installer for two reasons one the amount and balance price was about double which is which is fair for the convenience of them coming out to you but i really didn't want nobody coming to the house you know seeing 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 the project in the garage so just didn't want to deal with that so there's a tire shop that i always go to i actually have a i think i got a one year uh, alignment on the Malibu so I go here frequent so anyway I just want to throw that in there the reason why I actually had them shipped to the tire shop versus having them shipped to the house all right all right y'all so I made it up here to the tire shop so let me get these tires uh, the wheels unloaded going in and talk to the guy i talked to him on the phone he called i called to make sure to well i called because i got a delivery notification from uh ups so i spoke with the guy he told me bring it up here he said they should be able to get it knocked out so it's one o'clock so hopefully we can get them done before two i can go next door give me something to eat and uh be on our way okay so she said it was gonna be about 30 minutes before she uh can get started on them so i told her to go ahead just uh do what they do and just call me when they're ready so i'm not gonna i am gonna get lunch since i'm over here but i'm gonna go back to the house i think i'm gonna get in and out there's in and out right here i haven't had in and out in been a minute yep, it's right here so so and like i say the install price i think it came out to 88 and some change so just shy of 89 dollars for the mobile Installer, I think it was it was like 168 or something like that. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. That wasn't the main deciding factor for me not having a mobile installer come out. Mainly, I just didn't want anybody to come to the house. <laughs> so, anyway, like I said, I got a good relationship with this uh, particular tire shop. I come here a lot. So, anyway, give me something to eat. We'll go back to the crib. Hopefully, like I say, they say 30 minutes. It'll be like 145. I mean, they, as y'all know, don't take long to mount them. But if she calls me before three, I can come get them, take them to the house because I have to pick my. I have to leave the house. I normally leave the house at three o'clock to go get my daughter, and I don't know if they'll fit in here with her in here. So if I go get her from school and then come by the tire shop to get them, I probably have to drop her off at the house and then come get them. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear. But if she calls me close to three, then I'll just I'll come get them after I pick my daughter up and take her home. So. I'm excited though. I can't wait. Them tires. Oh man, wait till I show you all the tires. They look 10 times better in person as they do on the website. And like I said, I specifically was picking tires based on tread patterns. So hold on, let me order this food real quick. All 
All right, y'all, so we made it home finally. Took longer than expected, so I ended up picking them up when I got off work and after I got my daughter home. So these are Kumo. Extra V730 is the the model or series or whatever. It's a 245, 45, 17. And I think they call these uh, asymmetrical as far as the way the treads are. It's a max performance summer tire. So these are not recommended for driving in the rain. It's only got one channel, or I guess you can call that two channels to let the water out, but it's for maximum, maximum grip. That's what I'm going for. A lot of guys have all that power and then they scamp out on the tires. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of power, but the power that I do have, I want it to go down to the ground since I've already got my suspension upgraded. So I'm going to try these on. Well, not try them, I'm gonna put, put the one on the front passenger side, see how low it sits. But tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna apply this right here. So this is, uh, as you can see, it's called eraser, but all it is is I think it's just like a distilled water and alcohol. It's basically a stripping agent to strip all the oils off of the wheel and then, and the tire. And then this is Pearl, which is basically a tire dressing. It's, I think it has like a matte finish or a semi-gloss finish. So this is going on the tire after I clean both the tire and the wheel with this. And then I'm gonna ceramic coat the wheel. Ceramic coat the wheel and treat, uh, dress the tire. So it won't be a shiny dress, it's like a matte finish. So we'll do that tomorrow. But I'm gonna go ahead and put one on so I can see how, how the ride height sits. So as y'all know, the front is four inches dropped two inches on the coilovers and two inches on the drop spring or drop spindle and then I'm not sure how low I dropped it in the rear but it sits good now so I know like I said the wheel is bigger so it should fill that gap up nicely so let's get it on let's see what it looks like y'all so we ran out of light or we ran out of light but i got them both on there i was actually adjusting the toe on this front wheel that sucker was kicked out <laughs> so the back can go down a little bit more the front as low as it's gonna get but so like i said this is gonna do for now this is just temporary something that'll look good with my paint i'm still stacking chips to get the wheels that i really want these tires are extremely sticky let me see if i can show you just me moving around you see all the all the lint that is picked up and rocks on the ground so these are super super sticky tires which is what i wanted but let me show you the, the size tire that i'm gonna run when i do get my wheels this is the wheel the tire right here so check that out so that's what's gonna be on there when i get when i get my as soon as i get my money right so this is a let me show you. First, this wheel right here is a 17 by eight. The tire is a 245, 45, 17. Pretty decent wheel size and tire. This one is a 240, uh, 250, wait, is it 245? I think it's a 245, hold on. I, I didn't forget what size. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So this is also a 245, but it's a 245, 35, 21. A lot of people were asking me what size this tire was when I posted it on Instagram. So it is a 21 inch tire. So the wheels I'm running are going to be 21 by 9 in the rear. 21 by 8.5 in the front, I think. 8 or 8.5, can't remember. So, but like I said, that's down the road. These are going to do for now. I just needed something new on the car because I'm getting, I'm going to paint it sooner than later. I'll have the car painted before I have money to get forged wheels. And like I said, those are sold. And that fender is so, so I just need to contact, contact the guy and uh, meet up with him, get that taken care of. So I like it. Nice turnout. But like I said, tomorrow I'm going to take these back off, strip them down with that eraser, and then ceramic coat the wheels, strip the tires down, get all the oils and grease off of it, and coat them with pearl, 
tire dressing and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna do the inside barrels and everything. So that way in the future, when you're cleaning the wheels, it'll be a much less easier process getting brake dust off. And if you have any issues with, uh, you know, any fluids or leak, uh, anything that gets on the wheels. Oh man, boy, out of breath, <laughs> tired. I'm trying to think of if there's anything else. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Well, like I say, these are, the tires are pretty much max performance summer tires. They're based on the, the specs. They're okay in wet conditions, but not great. But I don't plan on ever driving the car in the rain. If I'm if I'm out and it happens to start raining while I'm out, you know, no big deal. But if I know it's raining, obviously I'm not pulling the car out anyway. I want a maximum grip and I like the tread pattern. <laughs> Call it what you want. And they weren't that expensive. I think they were like 180 per tire. So that's not bad. I'm probably gonna end up getting the fifth wheel and the fifth tire so I can have a spare. Okay, so I do have a flat because as you see, it's not a lot of tread on there. And you know, my luck with nails, I've had plenty of nails in, in my tires that actually have nice tread dips. So, so I just wanted to show y'all real quick that I finally got my wheels. I had to make, make something out of nothing. But yeah, so I'm still kind of down on the fact that my doors are not here. But like I said, I'm gonna make the best of the situation. I got a lot of other stuff I can do. And I'm still, I'm still waiting on my paint too. So I get, all I got is my pearls, the reducer and the clear coat. I don't have the primer or the base coat. So crazy crazy but anyway for anybody that hasn't already please go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell like comment share if you will check me out on tiktok and instagram at penny ls1 and until next time penny ls1 holla at your boy Great blue kiss.